Blessings my dear brothers and sisters, welcome back to the channel. My name is Antoinette, this is Artist Freestyle. If you're here for the first time, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know whenever I upload a video. Today I want to share an important message with you. This is probably the most important question you could ask yourself. This is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 16. Let me read it to you. And it says, Jesus asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and others say Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And then Jesus said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Now when Simon Peter said that, Jesus never said, Oh no, stop it, I'm not. <laughs> Jesus accepted what he said. Jesus said, And blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood had not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Jesus says that his Father who is in heaven has revealed this to Simon Peter, saying that Jesus is the Son of God. So here we see Jesus accepting this title, the Son of the Living God. My friends, and Jesus goes on to say, I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and so on. What was Jesus talking about? Not Peter, but on the belief that Jesus is the Son of God. And why is this so important? Because God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. And whosoever believeth in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. My friends, God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, God in flesh. The Word that became flesh and dwelt among us. The image, the express image of the Father. Jesus Christ was sent to die on the cross for our sins. He shed His blood, the blood of God Himself. He died for our sins on the cross so that there can be an exchange. An exchange of our unrighteousness to His righteousness. Because you see, Jesus is the only man that never committed a single sin. He was pure and blameless. Believing in Jesus means receiving your forgiveness for the sins that we have committed. Jesus' blood can wash our sins away. He is the ultimate sacrifice once and for all for every single sin that we have committed. My friends, will you believe in this Jesus today? Jesus asked you the same question today. Who do you think that I am? Who do you say that I am? And we see many people even today in this world saying, Jesus is just a teacher. He's just a prophet. He's probably some man in ancient history who died. But the right answer is Jesus is the Son of God. And those who believe in this, this is going to change the destination of your eternal life. You and me, we are immortal spiritual beings with a soul and a body. We will never cease to exist. We are going to live eternally but in two different locations, either heaven or hell. Heaven is all about Jesus. And no man can come to the Father but by me. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, and he resurrected on the third day. No normal man can resurrect himself from the dead, but Jesus did. Jesus was resurrected on the third day, and he ascended, and he is coming back. Very soon, it could be this second, it could be a year from now. His coming is near. His coming is near. My friends, make that decision today. Tomorrow might never come. Life is so short. We invest so much in our future, thinking, let me buy this house after I get married. Let me save this money for my children. But what about your never-ending eternal life? Have you thought about it? Jesus is the solution. Because in Him alone, there is forgiveness. 
He is the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, my friends, and you shall be saved. We see the coming one world order getting set up for the Antichrist. We are very close, very, very close. We must warn the people to get ready for the Lord is coming. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming to rapture his church. We must be ready. We must be prepared. Prepare our hearts by abiding with the Lord Jesus Christ. Abiding with the Lord Jesus Christ. Make that decision today, my friends. I hope this message blessed you. Let me know in the comments below. Who do you say that Jesus is?